Hi once again, welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is Banjo Santos, a property consultant of DMCA. So for today's video, I'm going to discuss the newest pre-selling project of DMCA Homes located at Aurora Boulevard, Quezon City. Actually, it is not just the newest, but it is also one of the hottest pre-selling project of DMCA Homes because of its location and upgraded features that I will discuss later on. Okay, so I will start this whole presentation by introducing the project's location na isa sa dahilan kung bakit mataas ang potential ng appreciation value ng project na ito. This project is located at the heart of Aurora Boulevard, Quezon City na malapit sa dalawang major roads sa Metro Manila, which are EDSA and C5. So this time, I'll show you the key establishments near the Oriana that would help you determine kung ideal ba ang project location sa'yo. From Oriana, when you go straight right, ito yung papuntang C5 to Katipunan na malapit sa well-known schools like UP Ateneo and Miriam College. Actually, malapit din ito sa Quirino Memorial Medical Center and also malapit din sa Araneta Center, Ali Mall, na nasa opposite side naman ng way going to Katipunan from Oriana. Moving forward, gusto ko i-emphasize na nasa transit-oriented development location ng Oriana which makes the project strategic for end or investment purposes. But first, ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng area na nasa transit-oriented development or community? Well, ayoko mag-copy-paste sa Google. I'll just explain it in a simple way. As you can see on the slide, the Oriana is surrounded by mixed-use developments in the area such as retail hubs, office buildings, schools, hospitals, and hotel developments. And kung mapapansin nyo, all of those are very accessible to public transport, especially on LRT stations that are also connected to MRT. And by the way, LRT2 Anona Station is the closest station to the Oriana. And finally, magkakaroon na rin ng ganito rito ang nakaka-excite kong bagong major development sa infrastructure ng Pilipinas, the Metro Manila Subway from Bikutan to East Valenzuela. And the good news is that magkakaroon ng Subway Anona Station na interconnected din sa LRT2 and MRT na may close proximity sa Oriana. As you can see on your screen, Anona Station is the 7th station after East Avenue and before Katipunan Station. This just makes everything more accessible. Well, basically this is the definition of a transit-oriented development. An urban development that consists of efficient public transportation, comprised of mixed-use developments with presence of community areas. So ano nga bang advantage ng TOD sa pipiliin kong location ng property? Before that, one example of TOD is the capital city of Thailand, which is Bangkok. And because of their urban development, the land value of the property continued to increase from 2012 up to present. So basically, these are the advantages of investing or living in a transit-oriented community where the Oriana is located. I'm so excited to share with you this part about the project details of the Oriana. Ito kasi yung tinatawag namin na upgraded version ng isang DMCI condominium. And by the way, this project was launched last April 2021. And the turnover date would be on April 2026. This project is consisted of two high-rise tower, the North and South Tower, with 55 and 56 stories, and 2,508 units all in all. But for now, North Tower pa lang ang launch with still units left to choose. For the meantime, please stand by for the launch of the South Tower. As you can see on the slide, napakalaki ng allotted space for amenities. Because in this project, the amenity ratio or space for outdoor amenities is 56%. Imagine the large space, pwede ka pa magtayo ng building sa paligid. And on your screen right now is the site development plan. Imagine this is the Aurora Boulevard, and when you go right, ito yung papuntang Katipunan, then when you go left, papunta naman sa Edsa Cubao. And now, I'll show you the elegant and resort-inspired outdoor amenities of the Oriana na advantage nito sa iba. Number one is the entrance and exit from the basement parking, then number two is the drop-off area and entrance gate of the building. Number three is the landscape garden, wherein you can relax and feel na nasa peaceful park kayo. Number 4, 5, and 6 are the swimming pools for this project, which are lap pool, 
leisure pool, and pool for the kids. And in between the North and the South Tower is the Three Promenade. Dito lalo mo may feel yung nature or resort inspired condominium na ito. Number 8 is the picnic area. Perfect ito para sa family bonding. The number 9 is one of DMCA's upgrade which is the covered basketball court. Actually sa iba kasi, open space ang court except sa Allegra Garden Place na covered na rin. Tapos sa taas naman ng covered basketball court, yung upper deck garden. You just have to take the stairs on the side to get there. So this is another space where you can relax, play with your kids, and enjoy the nature feel within the vicinity of the condominium. And the next one is the playground or children's play area. This is a usual amenity for every DMCA project since very family oriented on DMCI. And number 12 is the alternative exit of basement parking. I'm sure nagandahan po kayo sa outdoor amenities ng Oriana. Ngayon punta naman po tayo sa mga indoor amenities. Most of it are almost the same with other projects, so I'll show the visuals of the amenities of some RFO projects para mas ma-imagine nyo. So first is the open space modern tropical team lobby na standard sa mga DMCI projects. And then meron game area. Then snack bar. And this is the photo of the entertainment room from actual project. And there will be a function room that can cater events. So this time, let me show you the upgraded and special features of the Oriana. First is the fitness gym. Sa project na ito, mas malaki and more elegant looking na ang gym. Imagine running on the treadmill while enjoying the view of Manila skyline on the highest floor. Then this one is one of the special features of the Oriana na wala mostly sa ibang mga DMCI projects. The co-working space. Actually, this area was designed to be a study area for the students or working area and meeting place for employees and businessmen since equipped ito ng fast internet connection, office needs, and meeting rooms. And this one, bago lang sa DMCI, which is called garbage chute. So basically, each floor magkakaroon ng garbage chute na no need na boba pa ng building for garbage disposal. So this feature will definitely make it more convenient for the tenants. And now, let's go up. This next feature is called Sky Bridge. Actually, first time din ito sa isang DMCA project wherein magkakonek siya ng two towers. So, hindi mo na kailangan bumaba kung lilipat ka from one building to another. How exciting, di ba? And next slide is the improved and more nature-inspired sky promenade. As you can see, mas marami na siyang greeneries with more grass on the middle. Imagine enjoying this kind of environment up there while having this kind of view. And by the way, this photo was taken at the sky promenade of Infina Towers, the RFO project of DMCI beside Oriana. Well, there's another new feature of DMCI, the daybed units. These types of units are for those who prefer to maximize the space of living area instead of having balcony. Basically, may dalawang options na, unit with balcony or unit with daybed. On your screen right now are also some of DMCA's upgrades. For this project, there will be a bigger balcony windows and glass railings instead of typical steel railings. Then there will be a bigger unit cuts and provision for split type aircon. And finally, papakita ko po sa inyo ang most special feature and trademark craft of DMCI Homes, which is called the Lumivent Technology. To simplify it, ito yung nakapatent and unique innovation ng DMCA Engineering na nagbibigay ng na natural airflow and natural sunlight sa mga DMCA buildings through the use of large windows that is called sky patio na present din sa Oriana. So located ang mga sky patio sa mga premium or atrium floors. And lastly, DMCA also maximized the advantage of Lumivent Technology through its spacious hallway. Now watch this. For this part, I'll help you choose kung ano ba ang unit layout na para sa'yo. By the way, for the North Tower of the Oriana, 2-bedroom na lang ang available. So let's focus on the 2-bedroom unit layouts. But before that, let me show you the floor plan. Basically, dalawang types lang naman ang floor plan dito. The typical floors na may 24 units and the atrium floor na may 22 units. 
Ito yung floors with sky patio and at the same time may atrium garden. Of course, there's a minimal increase of price for these floors. This time, let me also show to you the view options for this project. First is the west side view which is the amenity view on the lower floor and view of Manila skyline on the higher floors. Sa north view naman, it's QC North. And lastly, you can enjoy the peaceful view of Antipolo Mountains on the east side. Then here are the different types of unit layouts. First is the standard and most common layout which is Type A. It has a total of 46.50 square meters of unit area plus the 8 square meters balcony. So all in all, the total area is 54.50 square meters. Ito po yung entrance door. Then this is the kitchen and dining area pagpasok nyo. If you take notice, malaki ang space na allotted for toilet and bathroom with 6.70 square meters. And that's common for any DMCA project. This one is like a cabinet na pag open nyo is the space for washing machine. Then here is the master's bedroom na may access sa balcony, while this is the bedroom too. Since na-discuss na natin ng standard 2 bedroom at kung ano ang mga meron dito, i-highlight ko na lang ang mga slight differences or special features of other unit layouts. So next one is the unit type B na may total area na 57 square meters na katabi ng sky patio. The selling point of this unit is the additional window na katabi mismo ng sky patio. So expect more airflow on this unit. Then here is the slightly bigger type C unit with 60 square meters total area. One thing I would like to highlight on this unit is the space na para may mini hallway muna pagpasok ng unit. Next is type F unit na identical sa type A except sa wala itong balcony. Ito yung mga units na may new feature which is the daybed. On the next slide is the 2 bedroom H and unit with 70 square meters. This is one of the fastest selling units dahil may dalawang balcony ito. So dalawa ang view. Then this is the 58.50 square meters type K unit with David also. As you can see, maximize ang unit area since walang balcony. Ito naman yung 2 bedroom O, na same sa 2 bedroom B na katabi ng sky patio with side windows. The difference is that the total gross area of it is 79 square meters dahil sa additional space na elevator core na converted sa 17.20 square meters na bedroom 2. And then lastly is the largest unit layout with 81.50 square meters na 2 bedroom P. Actually, this is the same as 2 bedroom C na may additional din na 17.20 square meters converted to bedroom na elevator core. And now, I'll take you to a virtual tour of a 2 bedroom, particularly the 2 bedroom C to help you imagine what a unit looks like sa the Oriana. This time, I'm quite sure na umabot na po kayo sa part na ito, interested kayo sa project. So finally, I will discuss to you the price, promo, discounts, and sample computation of a 2-bedroom unit at the Oriana. By the way, additional fact lang about DMCI na siguro alam nyo na or probably hindi pa, DMCI offers the lowest price per square in the market as compared to our competitors. Maybe you're asking why. It's because we're already a developer and at the same time, contractor of our projects. So less cost. In fact, we are proud that DMCI is the first quadruple A developer in the country. Now, these are the promo and discounts as of January 2022. 
there will be promo discounts of 1.5% on 2BR Unit A, B, H, I, O, and P. And 3% promo discount on 2BR Unit C, F, K, and L. And good news, another promo is you will have an option to choose a lower starting DP at 15% no spot down payment payable until the turnover. Since the standard payment scheme is supposedly to be 30% DP and 70% bank financing. The price of two bedroom at the Oriana ranges from 6.1 million to 8.4 million as of January 2022. This might change depending on the availability or future price increase. And now, for the last part of the presentation, naghanap ako ng unit na available as of today. Pinili ko yung unit na may lowest price na available sa system, which is Unit 302, to show you the computation. Now, let's proceed to the computation of Unit 302 that will be turned over on April 2026. We will use the payment term promo of 15% DP and 85% bank fee and kunwari, this January 2022 na ang reservation. The list price is 6,142,000 less the 1.5% discount promo of 92,130 is 6,049,870. So this will be the TCP or total contract price. Then since we avail the promo of 15%, we will get the 15% of the TCP which is 907,480. And we will less the reservation fee of 20,000 so the total would be 887,480. Since the reservation date is January 2022, the first DP would be on February 2022. So it will be 50 months to pay from February 2022 to March 2026. And the monthly DP would be 17,749 pesos. And gusto ko rin po inform kayo na may closing fees. By the way, this covers all the fees for the processing to transfer the title such as documentary stamp tax, transfer fees, and other administrative fees. And the closing fees will be the 10.5% of the TCP, which is 635,236. It can be paid in full or can be included in the bank loan to spread the payment. After paying the 15% down payment, the remaining 85% balance of 5,142,389 should be paid through bank financing on the turnover date, which is on April 2026. The interest rate varies on the bank. And to get additional discounts, you can choose other payment terms. So thank you so much po for watching the whole presentation. For more details and if you want to get a sample computation of other units, you can message me on my social media, email address, or mobile number. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more information about the MCA projects. Stay safe and God bless you all.